Hi, I'm Bill, and welcome to one more video. Well, when I released my video this morning talking about how I'm going to take some one-to-one -one training with Dr. Ron Breacher of uh, Pix Insight fame, I said that was probably going to be my last video until I, until I took the training on the 14th of December. Well, as part of the conversation with Ron this morning, he mentioned tuning the system. And he didn't say anything specific. He mentioned it around the time that I was talking about um, that I'd already downloaded the RC Astro tools. And then he asked me if I had a GPU. And then he didn't really say anything else other than, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at your system at the beginning of the training and the two hour session and, and we'll tune it. <clears throat> So, okay, the call ended and everything, and I started thinking about that, and I said, wow, there must be an opportunity to tune the system, and it must be in relation to PixInsight and the use of the RC Astro tools, which I have licensed copies of Blur Exterminator, Noise Exterminator, and uh, Star Exterminator. So I started doing something, uh, digging, I found a site uh, or I went to the uh, Pix Insight forum and I found an article talking about up-to-date instructions for enabling GPU acceleration. So <clears throat> I took a look at uh, some links they had in there and then um, I decided to check out RC Astro, uh, their site, and lo and behold I found this uh, page called GPU Acceleration for AI Powered Tools. So when I downloaded my licensed copies, I didn't explore further on the site. Otherwise, I would have seen this. So I can assure you that if you follow, if you've not, many of you, I'm sure, are, are a little bit sharper than I am. So you already knew this and you've probably already done this. Uh, if you're using the uh, RC Astro tools with Pix Insight, you've probably already tuned your system uh, to get the best performance. Uh, out of those AI uh, power tools. But, you know, uh, I can assure you, if you have not done it, it's pretty straightforward to do. The directions that RC Astro lists here work. Took me maybe 15 minutes, if that. And uh, so I'll put this link to this instruction set in the video description. But what I found is in doing this, I am now offloading from the CPU onto my NVIDIA GPU, and I have the GeForce GTX 1660 Super uh, card uh, that the performance uh, is fantastic now when it comes to using these three RC Astro tools. So just for an example, uh, let's bring up uh, what we're going to be looking at here is I've, uh, as you know, I would imagine in Task Manager there's a performance tab and you can see the performance of the different aspects of your system. So what we're looking at here, or at least what I'm interested in, is the GPU area. And so we'll, uh, we'll take a look at, at this. Um, down here it shows my uh, NVIDIA card only has 6 gigs of memory. Uh, so down here it's showing how much it's allocated. 5.2 of the 6 is made available. Uh, right now that utilization is at uh, 59%. Uh, I'm not sure what's driving that right now. Uh, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll take a look and see what we uh, see here as we uh, do a little demo. So let's bring that down. Let's bring up uh, Blur Exterminator. Again, this RGB image is not really that important. It's just an image of the Witch Head Nebula that I've been working on. So let's bring up the preview and what we'll see, the spike. So it used to take almost a minute for the preview to load and now it's a matter of seconds. So that's a good start and you can see the spike up on the GPU uh, at that period of time. Now there was a corresponding spike also on the CPU 
uh, at the same time. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to we're just going to execute on the preview. So we'll let that run. And this used to take on this image here <clears throat> several minutes. And I think now it's down to uh, about a minute. We'll see at the end of the of the process. And then again up here in the performance graph, we see that the uh, utilization uh, has bumped up for the GPU to 94%. And so that's a good thing. Uh, where there was a spike up with the CPU, uh, the load on the CPU is down around 25%. That used to uh, kind of uh, max out um, before I was successfully offloading the work from the CPU for the RC Astro um, um, plugins, uh, the CPU would peg at 100%. So, but now that a lot of that work has been offloaded to the GPU, and if you've got a much newer GPU, uh, you're going to get much better performance than I can. But I am I am happy with this increase. So, okay, I just got done there, and it was a minute and eight seconds. Um, so that's kind of cool. So let's, uh, let's kill this. Let's kill that. And let's see what, uh, what happens with Noise Exterminator. And, uh, okay, we'll run a preview. Um, well, uh, and uh, let's give this a shot. And then we'll bring up our, our graph here. And as you can see, we're uh, up to 91% utilization on the GPU and 12.3 seconds. Now, I think that's outrageous compared to the, I, I'm pretty sure I remember three, four minutes. Just the uh, preview coming up on its own um, was uh, took, took a bit. So again, just to show that performance again, we'll... Uh, We'll bring that back up. Again, we see the uh, utilization on the GPU go up to uh, 92%. A little spike in the, and we're done. And again, how quick was that? 12.53 seconds. So, I, for those of you that may be using um, RC Astro tools such as Blur, Noise, and Star who may not be aware of this opportunity where you have a GPU to accelerate the performance. Uh, I just wanted to uh, bring this to your attention. I'm sure many of you already know this uh, and have done it. Um, Oftentimes, I'm a little bit behind the, uh, the rest of everybody else, but uh, I did want to share it in case you're not aware of it, or maybe you're thinking of purchasing or maybe just even doing a trial of these tools. That's how I got into the RC Astro tool set was by doing their trial for each of the tools. There's an opportunity for you to accelerate the performance of those tools if you have the appropriate NVIDIA GPU and uh, really easy to do. Again, these directions were straightforward. I was able to get it done in 10, 15 minutes at tops and uh, I'm really happy I took the time to do it. Now, I don't know what else Ron may have in mind as far as tuning my system. I'm going to research some more. Maybe there's some other things I can do. Maybe swap file, location, those type of things. But... Uh, yeah, I was kind of excited to see uh, this this outrageous performance increase now that I'm able to leverage the GPU that I have in my system. It's just uh, just great. Okay, if you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Again, as I always say, hopefully you're looking forward to some good weather. Other than that, see you next time.